Senator Thorpe. Thank you, Mr Deputy President. For many Australians, there's no place like home. Our homes provide us with security, relaxation and personal comfort. For some Australian women, however, the home is a place of, a place of pain, humiliation and, in the worst of circumstances, death. Domestic violence continues to be a serious problem in Australia. 76 women, on average, are killed each year by either a current or a former partner. The economic cost to the country is estimated at around $13 billion a year. But there is a much greater loss to our society, in particular the devastating physical and emotional cost to individuals, families and communities. There is no doubt that acts of domestic violence can leave women with their lives ruined and destroyed, but there is something that governments can do. Domestic violence deaths have been referred to as the most predictable and preventable of homicides in the 2009 Canadian Conference on the Prevention of Domestic Homicide. Each domestic violence death is pre preventable because they are the result of extremely predictable patterns of escalator behaviour within a relationship. The victims are often women who are known to police, courts and community groups. These women and their children have often passed through our health care providers, our women's shelters, have called our police and have been assessed by our social services. In many circumstances, these victims reached out for help. Their deaths are not unpredictable, nor are they unforeseeable. This is why we must act. A significant and crucial insight can be gained by reviewing the surrounding circumstances of a domestic violence death. Review processes allow us to develop informed and effective prevention strategies and identify gaps in existing systems. Risk factors include prior physical abuse, repetitive separations, access to firearms, stalking, choking or strangulation, frequency of violence as well as threats of violence. Many states and territories have already introduced domestic violence death reviews, which allow for systemic and systematic forensic analysis of domestic violence deaths. At present, Mr Deputy President, our state of Tasmania lacks such a system. This means that domestic violence related deaths are treated in the same manner as any other homicide through the Coronial Division of the Magistrates Court. Unfortunately, these inquests fall short because they are merely an inquiry to determine the victim's identity, the date and place of death and the manner in which the death occurred. In contrast, domestic violence death reviews take an in-depth look at the incidents which led to the death. They also identify common patterns and treads, trends amongst multiple domestic violence deaths. These reviews can also receive unrestricted input from community groups women's shelters, government agencies, medical specialists and other family members who can shed light on the circumstances of the relationship and the experiences of the victim. Last year I had the pleasure of meeting with University of South Australia senior lecturer Elspeth McGuinness, representing the National Domestic Violence Death Review Advocacy Group at the unveiling of the National Remembrance Quilt. Elspeth had travelled to Canberra to represent the group WEAVE, women everywhere against violence everywhere, in the hope of encourage each, encouraging each state in Australia to establish a domestic violence death review process at state level. Elspeth kindly agreed to travel to Launceston in December to facilitate a roundtable discussion on the issue. This initial forum included stakeholders from Tasmanian agencies and groups, including the police, magistrates court and the commissioner for children. Women's shelters and support groups and services such as the Women's Legal Service, Yamea Women's Service and the Hobart's Women Health Service also took part. On the government side were representatives from the Department of Justice, Health and Human Services, along with representatives from the Office of the Honour Honourable Julie Collins MP, the Federal Minister for the Status of Women. The Tasmanian Forum was a success and my office remains in regular contact with the attendees to monitor the progress of the issue. A death review process ensures that a broader perspective can be gained by assessing both the cultural and context of a domestic violence death. This can reduce the incidence of domestic violence deaths by informing improvements 
to our systems and services. For far too many victims, domestic violence is deadly. We should never accept these deaths as inevitable or unpredictable. As representatives in this place, we must commit to supporting policy Order. which gives Senator, both— Order, Senator Thorpe. Your time has expired.